So wait, we were saying we we're gonna go into um Beyonce. Yeah. Since we were talking about Beyonce, and I'm still cozy to this day, even two years later, bitch. Stream it. Thanks. <clears throat> so Beyonce has the number one country song in the country. Look how Craig, look how Mo was quick on it. Uh-huh. Look how Mo was quick on it. Mo, you was quick on it today. Beyonce is has the number one single. Now I'm predicting. Come on, predict, Craig. Come on. I'm predicting. Nom 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 Can you wish up on the ball? Listen, I'm predicting. Rub the ball, Craig. I'm predicting that. Craig, you didn't do it right. Go ahead. Go ahead and continue. I'm predicting that Beyonce is going to either a. Don't break my image. But go ahead. Go ahead. He's either going to get the. Artist of, ahead, she's going to either get Artist of the Year for this country album that she's going to put out, excuse me, or she's going to get Artist of the Year for this country album. And it is going to send white folks into the stratosphere. Well, they're already there. They really are. Because they didn't want to play her album on the... On the, on they the didn't want to play... They want to play her album on the country stations. And the beehive said, y'all pussy ass hoes, puss ass hoes, as y'all say in floor, puss ass hoes, y'all better motherfucking play her shit. And then they, they, they dug into them so deeply that the country station tweeted and said, we're sorry, we didn't realize that this was a country album, this, that, and the third. And it was given very much so, we're going to go ahead and start planning and then playing it. Then somebody retweeted and said, yeah, you bitches better tweet it because y'all haven't tweeted since 2015. <laughs> so... Don't act like y'all don't know the power of the beehive. Correct. Now, she's the first black female to have a number one country artist. But see, I see this bigger than the, than just for Beyonce, right? There, there, there is a um, there's a guy. is a black artist. His name is Clay Brown. He's a he's a country artist. He's a black guy. I think he's biracial, but he's a country artist. I think it's gonna open doors for a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of black country artists. That's that's what that's when you talk about paving the way. When you talk when you talk about opening up doors for other people. Um, even with Kay Michelle, you know, like we all know that she's been wanting to do I, a I'm country. I'm not gonna even front. She's been wanting to do a country. I cannot album. wait <clears throat> to hear Kane me. Brown. Thank you. What did I say? Did I say Clay Brown? He was it's, it's Kane Brown. He got dreads and stuff, right? No, he doesn't have dreads. He is married to a white woman, but I'm gonna give him a pass because I think he's biracial. But Kane Brown, it, his shit is amazing. I love Kane Brown, but he's a country artist as well. Well, I wanted to say this. I want to say that I am twisted right now from this brown liquor. B- bitch. Very twisted right now from this brown liquor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my composure. <laughs> right. <laughs> But I think it's going to open doors for other black uh, country artists. But if she win that album of the year, or she has to go over there to the country music, um, country music awards, then white folks are not going to be okay. No, they're not. They are going to be sick to I want to say, okay, because I got threw off, that I am excited to see what K. Michelle also brings to the country music yeah, yeah. genre. I listened to a preview sample of her song, and I, I, I liked it. Like I, she has a tone for that for me. She's I've from, always thought that yeah. she has a tone for that for me, and so I can't wait just <clears throat> to, to, to hear how it comes forth. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm so glad for me in this whole situation right now. I'm so glad that Beyonce is coming through and she is um, reclaiming Black people's time. That's right in all genres of music, like house music and disco was definitely Black, and a lot of white folks have been upset. A lot of intellectually lazy white folks have been upset because they feel like we are now appropriating what belongs to them. But Mo, if you would please put up the history of country music, I sent you a thank you, Mo. You know, again, like I don't want you all to think that I'm racist. I'm just a truth teller. And country music derived from the American South. If you look at this. If you look at the history... Can, can you see that far? I can. I had LASIK surgery. Well, I'd like for you to read it then. It says, country music, often associated with rural America and white performers, has a rich and often overlooked history rooted in the African-American experience. So black folks that are watching, don't ever let anybody white tell you that country music is white because it is not. It, it goes on to say, the genre character, characterized by storytelling and, and emotive melodies 
owes much of its foundation to the contributions of black musicians. Country music originated in the American South and it's rooted and its roots can be traced back to the blending of musical tr tr traditions for, from various communities. The genre evolved from a fusion of European folk music, African-American spirituals, and the musical heritage of the Appalachia. As a result, early country music carried the soulful rhythms and emotional depth inherent in African-American musical traditions. Do we have one more slide? He got it right today. Right. And finally, the banjo, which is ever so present, which is ever so present. The banjo is a musical instrument with roots traced back to West Africa. Thanks. That's it? That's, that's all. The rest? Okay. No, that's all. Thanks. <laughs> so listen, stop letting these people appropriate our culture, okay? Stop letting them appropriate our culture. I'm not racist. But what are you, Craig? A truth teller. You're just black like that. That's right. And I'm gonna hold people to the white people to their shit because they're so they're so okay with speaking so confidently wrong. How do we know that to be true, Craig? Give us examples. Bethany. There's one. <laughs> There's one. I just I just wanted to put together that little slideshow for you all because you know white folks have really been upset. They've been they they even compared Beyonce to some sort of an animal. Some of some of the yeah, I didn't like that. That was that guy that Tyler that Tyler Perry gave a job to. That, that's right. I don't play them games. I'm I'm serious. That was that white guy. He was Judge Kramer, Judge Kramer on the on the have and the have nots. Mm -hmm. That Tyler Perry gave that job to. I'm a realist. Thank you. Um, M. M, M what is it? I, I'm sorry, it went past. I can't see it. Yes. McAllany, I think that's what it says. M. McAllany, yes, I'm a realist. Okay? But I'm telling you, if Beyonce shows up at that Country Music Awards... <laughs> she's going to terrorize those girls. <laughs> Baby, them white folks are going to be sour. She's going to terrorize those girls. And again, this isn't for all white people, because I know some of you watch this and you understand how... Come on, and then there was another girl. Have... There was another girl that had a lot to say about me. She always has a lot to say about me, and it's okay. She, mm -hmm. Her name is... Uh, I can't remember. She's a well, what did she say? She's a trans girl, and she she was weighing in on that thing that what that, that that the thing that they thought was a thing with that Oliver thing, and, uh, and mm -hmm. then she was saying that I I coon for the white man and I this and the other. Now there were a few pieces of it that I that I listened to that she said that, that I saw that were factual. Okay. Fact is, yes, in the beginning, when I. Sorry, that was so much trying to call me. It was. Yeah. Hold on. Can you take that call? No, I, I, I um, you, you take that call, Mo? Mo had a phone call. Okay. It was, was it the pay for your say? Let's run it down at the bottom since that was a pay for your say call. Let's do it. We'll take a, let's take a pay for your say moment. Yeah. Hi guys. This is T.S. Madison and Craig, the writer Stewart. <laughs> if you're interested in making some side money. And don't even have to leave your house. And you have a lot to say about a lot of things. Why don't you get paid for what you say? Visit www.payforyourstate.com and use promo code MADDY100. When you use promo code MADDY100, you will instantly receive $100 off your entry fee into getting signed up for the Pay For Your Say program. Now, the Pay For Your Say program is for people that are looking to make extra side money and money to help their, their family, their kids, and just on the side. And you don't even have to leave your home sometimes. That's right. However, you will need to have a laptop computer. That's right. Yes, you do need a laptop. Somebody asked earlier about a cell phone. No, you need and a laptop. And you will also have to have some literacy skills. What, what do they need? You will have to have some literacy skills. That you need to be able to, to be able to read. You need to be able to read, write, and most of all, comprehend. And follow basic instructions. Again, comprehend. And when you're able to do these things, you know, you will get paid for the surveys and studies that happen. Our girl Kim is the founder, creator of payforyoursafe.com. Right. We are not trying to hustle you or scam you. We're just trying to put money in your pocket. That's it. So please, if you can, when you leave this place, visit www.payforyourstate.com and enter code MADDY100 in order for you to put some extra cash in your pocket. Thank you and have a nice day. You're welcome. Now let's get back down to what the fuck we were talking Correct. about. Correct. Before Mo and Ruli interrupted us and gave us a, a commercial break. Uh-huh. <laughs> This bitch gonna say, "What was we talking about?" 
What were we talking about? What, what? We were talking about the country music we're and the white people. No, but did that we move? Beyonce goes there. They're going to have a field day. About yeah, we had it. said all those things. What, what were we talking about, y'all? We're... Um, what were we talking what about? What were we saying? This brown liquor is fucked us up, baby. I what? could go in there right now, more and lay, uh, Craig. And Listen lay, and lay on my bed right well, now. Wait, what is Miss Mary doing with this fish and shrimp? Whatever she's doing, honey, you'll get some. I'm ready. But I was, I could go in there right now and lay on my bed right now and just be ravished, ravished. And I will put my everything perfume on in the middle of all of that stuff that's going on. And if you want to wear my everything perfume, Craig, Mo, can you please put the? Did you delete the QR code? No. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You can click the QR code here on your screen. Move those comments. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and get you some of this everything perfume right you now. Have to, you have to. Oh. Put it. So, somebody put said your the hand to the side, Maddie. Put your head to the side with the perfume. The everything perfume there you right go. here. Uh -huh. You can get some of this perfume by clicking the QR code. Right now, we're running a 20% off sale. 20% off. That's And use when at checkout. Maddie 20. Thank you. You were talking about the trans girl and something with Oliver. Oh, yeah. That's so the trans talking. girl, she said one thing that's factual. She said that in the beginning, the black folks wasn't accepting me into the situation. And that is true. But what she said was there are other things. Tila, that's her name. Tila. Mm -hmm. Tila's always saying stuff about me. We wish blessings, peace and kindness. to Tila. We do. Because she's trans and I want her. I really do want her to to get the best that, that, that life has to offer for her. But I also want her to get it right. I don't coon for no motherfucking body. Okay? I do what the fuck I want to do when I get ready to motherfucking do it. However, because I don't want to be poor. You don't mean what? I don't want to be poor. <laughs> and I don't want to, I don't want to have to work nine to five or seven to three or eight to five for someone else. I want to work on my own motherfucking time. So what I hear you saying, beloved, is you don't want to work in a cubicle. Correct. Or a factory. And so <laughs> because I don't want to do those things, bitch. You don't want to work where? At a factory. <laughs> on an assembly line? Whatever she works at. <laughs> and yes, that was a jab at your job because you jabbed at me, sis. So we could jab back and forth. That's the love hate relationship that we got. <laughs> because I don't want to work where you work at. I have. You don't want to what? I don't want to work where you work. <laughs> I have decided to take my own life and my own thing into my own hands. And I don't coon for anybody because one thing you have to understand, I tell those white folks, no, whenever the fuck I get ready. And yes, when I do decide. Now, one thing that she did say, what, Craig? It's the brown liquor. One thing that that bitch did say <laughs> was that bitch, when I first came out, that the black folks did not motherfucking want to accept me. But you've that. always said that. I've always said that. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's not a story that she's telling that they didn't want to accept me, bitch. My first bookings came from white people. Mm -hmm. It did. Yeah. My first book is my first opportunity. Yes, you were correct, Tila, in your conversation. Wow Presents Plus, World of Wonder, they did put me on. And they gave me my first television show, which made me, out of all of you girls, because you're transsexual too, which made me, out of all of you trannies. Out of what? All of you trannies. <laughs> the first black transgender woman to executive produce and star in her own reality series. And mm. from then on, I've created and produced shows. I've created and produced things that have that have accumulated wealth for me. And the white man does not have ownership of that, contrary to what you may believe. Okay? <laughs> they had to lease that. What did they have to do? Lease and license that <laughs> from me. One thing when you girls get in y'all larynx and y'all start and, and you're where? your larynx <laughs> and you start speaking about me, you can actually communicate me and I'll give you factual things. And when you <laughs> said that, because I see everything, Chris. Uh -huh. <laughs> and when you said that you saw me out the other night when we were at the open mic and I was leaving out with my security, yes, I'm always surrounded with my security because I'm a star. But that don't mean, you're what? I'm a star. <laughs> But that don't mean that if you run up on me that you may not get punched in your shit or we may motherfucking square up, bitch. That, that, but my security is there to protect you from getting those bullets in your ass or these hands on your motherfucking ass. That's the reason why my security is there because I have lots to lose. Unfortunately, you meet, we may not have the same amounts of things to lose, you know, because, you know, you may pop me and I may pop you and you may sue me. Bitch, we have, I have many things to lose. So therefore, of course, my security is there to protect me from 
you. From who? Me from you. <laughs> Not you from me. You know, but rather, but rather me from you, because I would probably risk the, the, the thing of punching one of you. If you host ever tried me on your dime, you may get shot, stabbed or popped. They might get what? Shot, stabbed or popped. They might get what? Shot, stabbed and or popped. What may happen? Shot, stabbed or popped. <laughs> Sound like a race for thinking that, <gasps> that I pool that you were uh, that I pool <laughs> for the white man, or I'm so whitewashed that I'm not a nigga, bitch. I'm a real nigga. That you're not a what? A nigga. Because I'm a real nigga, bitch. And if any one of you hoes think that for any day that you may pop, slap, or make or or try to to try to take any aggressions out <laughs> on me because you feel some type of way about me because of my presence on the internet, because of your try what? Me on the internet. <laughs> try me if you want to. <laughs> but I can show you better than I can I tell trust you. Trust me. <laughs> now, yes, I did. I don't think that I even saw you when I was leaving out. I was trying to get in my car and go get in my get in my black car because I had you other, trying to do what? Get in my black car because <laughs> I had other engagements to 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 do the following day because I am a booked and busy girl. I don't work at a factory because I've made these opportunities for myself. I'm a booked <laughs> and busy girl. And so therefore you you said in your video that you had saw me out and you said, hey, <laughs> hey goddess, and I looked at you and rolled my eyes. I didn't, if had I seen you, I would have spoken to you. I probably looked at you and probably said, hey, and kept moving because I was trying to get in my car, in my black car. Right. Which was also uh, armed, it's armed security because I am a storm. A what? And that's the way I trap. You're a what? A sort. S T A R. <laughs> Not a Sydney, but a real ah, S T A R. Ah. Ah. Okay? And so, therefore, when you said what you said, and you, I'm addressing, I'm, bitch, it's, 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 today's the day of the addressing. Right, right, right. Because I have a few addresses. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm at yours. <laughs> and so. <laughs> You know, when you get on your videos and y'all say these things in your videos and you and you speak because you get your video and you speak directly to me, I'm speaking back to you. And you need to understand that you are correct about a few things. What was she, girl? She was correct about a few things. <laughs> because uh, the black people did no. the black people <laughs> did not give me opportunities in the beginning. <laughs> they did not. <laughs> because I was a porn star and an adult entertainment, whatever. But not I was not just here's where your facts are off. I was not just a porn star or an adult entertainer. I was a adult entertainer that owned her own business. Kobe Bisberry. I was an adult entertainer that owned her own business, that still owns her oh, own Kobe business, Bisberry. and that still are receiving residuals from the men that fucked, sucked, and got in the buck for her. The men who did what? Fucked, sucked, and got in the buck for her all those years ago. My question is, can you say the same for the men that have fucked, sucked, and got in the buck for you all those years ago, even though currently right now you don't have your dick anymore because you have, you've had a, a SRS? So what about the men that have climbed in your man-made pussy? Wait a minute. Climbed into what? In your man-made pussy. Thank you. And I'm not reading you, sis. We're Thank just you. calling since we're sisters. We're calling since we're, since we're sisters. We're having a sisterly video chat with, amongst each other. <laughs> right, 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 right. So I want to let you know that nothing that I've ever done has come back to me in perpetuity. <laughs> Bitch, the, the 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 spaces that I occupy, perpetuity. The things that I own perpetuity. I can lay down right now, bitch, and not turn on my motherfucking video camera, bitch, for weeks at a time, and I'm still going to receive a residual income for my presence. So, this is my thing. When you say I shuck and dance and shuck and jive for the white man, you are completely crazy. I tell the white man what I will and will not do. What you got, What I will and will not motherfucking do. And if you don't believe me, get in the industry and ask. And do what? A-S-K. Get in the industry because you're on the outside looking in. Where's Get the girl? In the Where's the girl? You're on the outside looking in, and you're making presumptuous. What's he making? making presumptuous. Uh, Allegations, okay? okay. So when you get on the out in the inside, you ask them who they don't motherfucking play with, and it's most definitely me. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm talking to my transsexual sister, Miss Tila or Kanafa or whatever Holy Ghost name that she's aspired to be. And we wish her blessings and peace and what love. Do we, wish we wish her blessings, peace and love. But we, just the way she loves to call me to the mat, I'm here now at the mat. <laughs> my good sister. 
<laughs> and here again, we're back to the place of I don't like that people take pieces and they take these parts of their of their conversation and they like to take these parts of their conversation and they like to they take it from a place of of, of disdain or a, a small bit of disdain and or a love hate relationship that they have with me or whatever and they speak mm -hmm. from a place of like they're they're knowing I yes yes the white man did give me opportunities however when those opportunities were given to me I walked in the room with with commanding I told them what I will and will not do. And I also did the same thing for the African-American faggots and the African-American trannies and the African-American dykes. I do the same thing. And that's why, bitch, I am able to do exactly what I want to do when I want to motherfucking do it. And that's why all of those wonder twin powers that love to come together as black women who don't like me can't motherfucking activate and kick me out of no motherfucking well because I run my own business. And bitch, because I run my own business, bitch, and I got business about me, and I control my intellectual motherfucking property, bitch, that's why I ain't going nowhere. It's not because somebody gave me a motherfucking space. It's because I command the room. Instead of you girls getting into your spaces and thinking that you get into a, 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 a position where you can read me, what you need to do is to get a, a pen and a pad and take notes. And we thank you, and we do this in love. Are we done for the day? Because this fish done came out here. Girl, no, we are not done for the day. We got some more stuff to go, Chris. I sent Mo some other stuff. What else we got over there? You got... Um... Thank you, Mama. Did you send hot sauce? And she said that the black women came on to me when when, Ky when me and Kaya got together. Sweetheart, I'm the reason why that people started liking Kaya again. If you want to be technical. And yes, our unity together did bring together two communities. It did. Mm -hmm. No tea, no shade. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take the way away from a truthful thing. It did bring two communities together. However, when we when 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 we when things departed, bitch, I continued to thrive and one vanished. 